In this video, I'm going to be teaching you cube notation. So if you've seen algorithms that say stuff like r, u, r prime, u prime, and you don't really know what that means, well, I'm going to show you what that means in this video. So, first of all, the letters are the face moves, which are just regular turns like this. And if it says r, it just means turning clockwise once. And if it says r prime, that means turning it counterclockwise. And if it says R2, then it's turning it twice. And I'm using R as an example, and R is the right face. So this face is the right face, which is R. This is L, which is the left face. This is U, which is the up face. This is F, which is front face. This is B, which is back face. And this is D, which is the down face. So, if you see something like R, U prime, L, B, it looks like this. R, U prime, L, B. So that's what basic cube notation is. And if it, if it is written as a capital letter, so, for example, U, 2, 2 means turning it twice. And that still counts as one move, even though you're actually moving it 180 degrees. But it still counts as one move. So if it says capital U, and then an apostrophe, that means U prime. The apostrophe represents the prime, which is counterclockwise. So prime means turning counterclockwise. And if it just says a capital U, then it just means turning clockwise once. That's what basic face, move it, face moves are. So I'll give you an example. This is the T permutation, and it's basically switching these two edges, and I mean, it's basically switching these two corners and switching these two edges. So it goes R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, <coughs> R, U, R prime F prime so that was the T permutation so it's basically just no, um, just an example of what face moves are the next set of moves are double face turns which are turning turning the face that you have turning the face but also turning the middle the middle face along with it so for example um, and double face turns are written as the face that you're turning and then a lowercase w after that. So for example, if we're turning, uh, if we're to turn, if it, if it says capital R lowercase w, that would mean turning the right face, but since it says w, you also have to turn the middle face. So it's R like this. So that would be R capital R lowercase w. If it says R W apostrophe, that means that means double face R prime, so like this. And you can do this with all the faces. So if it's um, U, then it's like this. If it's U prime, it's like this. U two, so it'll be written as U lowercase W two. So that's what it would be. That's what the double face moves are, and you can do it with all all the faces. And it, it's just written as the capital letter of the face. So, so, for example, a capital L would be for the left side. And then a lowercase w along with it. The next set of moves are slice moves, which are turning the middle layers. So, doing M turns and E turns, stuff like that. I'm not very... I don't use E turns. Well, okay, I'll just get into it. So, basically, there's three types, which are... M, E, and S. So the M is turning this. This the M stands for the middle layer. So it's turning this. This is M. This is M prime. For M prime, I just I, I don't go like this. I actually bring this up, grab the grab this layer and bring it down. That's what I do for M prime. I don't use M prime very much in my algorithms. I mostly use just M and M two. M2 is like this. So like this. 
I, I use my ring finger and then I use my middle finger like this. So ring finger, middle finger. That's for double, uh, that's for M2. And then that's M prime, M just uh, going through it again. Um, and then there's E, which is like this. That's E. And then E prime is like this. I don't use E at all in my algorithms. All I use is just, uh, as I said, M and M2 for my slice moves. Sometimes M, sometimes M prime, but not very much. And then I, I don't use E at all because you know it's kind of awkward. Like I can't, I, I I suck at turning it like this. So, and this is E two. As I said, I'm really bad at turning it like this. And then the next, uh, the last slice move is S, which is like this. So like this. That's S. S. And then S prime is this way. So you're just turning it like this. And then that's S again. And then S then S2 is like this. Just turning it twice. And I also don't use S at all. Just M. So that was the slice moves. The next kind of moves are cube rotations. They're not really moves. It's just rotating the cube in different ways. So so X is rotating the cube like this. That's X. X. This is X prime. Turning the cube towards turning the cube towards yourself is X prime. Turning turning it away from you is X. And then X2 is like this. Turning it twice. Basically turning it over like that. And then the second type of move is Y which is turning it sideways so turning it like like this that's clockwise is obviously y this is y2 and then this is y prime y prime y comes up in the g permutation so let's so for example if you're going like this that was a w prime and then just regular moves and then that was a w then this is the y cube rotation and that was um, I think the first G perm or something like that I think that was the first G perm so Z is like this just turning the cube like that your F and your B stay the same it's just your your U R L and D change so this is Z and then this is Z prime Z prime Z prime this is Z2 you can do it either way like this or like this and then Z, Z, Z prime, Z2. So you, you get the idea. That's what it is. So that's all a cube notation. You probably don't need, like, I don't, I don't need, I only need M for slice moves and, and I, and I, and I use cube notation, but I don't really use them a lot in algorithms, only in, in some algorithms. But the most, well, you obviously always need face turns or else you can't turn the cube. So in every algorithm is always face turn, face moves. And then there's slice moves and stuff. And so you're mostly going to need uh, face moves. And this video is made for people who are starting to learn how to uh, how to solve the cube. And they're learning algorithms and new algorithms and they don't know. But I also included the other terms like fi like slice moves and, and cube rotations. Just because if you're learning algorithms like the G permutations, then you, you're going to need cube rotations and double face moves. And like in the H perm, you need... Uh, slice moves so so yeah and that's basically it so I hope you can read algorithms better and you learn you can learn everything it's easier now this was a pretty basic video and thanks for watching